Hi, this is Dr. Salemi. Today I want to talk to you about what to do when you've been bitten by a tick. First of all, you never want to pour anything on top of the tick. You don't want to put petroleum jelly or oil or burn it or shame it or anything that we've been told to do about the tick. You want to get some very pointy tweezers, not the broad kind, but the pointed tips. Because if you get the broad kind, it's going to squish the tick and could potentially spread more bacteria. The pointed ones, you want to dig really deep down to the head of the tick, squeeze, squeeze the tick, twist it and pull all in one fell swoop. Because the twisting motion is how the tick un flattens its teeth when it's getting ready to release from the skin anyway. If you do anything other to make the tick mad, so to speak, it's going to want to regurgitate and vomit back its content or bacteria into the system and you don't want to do that. So once you've pulled the tick off, you're going to put it in a plastic bag and you're going to send it either to University of Massachusetts where they'll do a diagnostic on it. Um, you, uh, they'll do a diagnostic to find out what kind of tick it is, but also make sure that you ask them to identify if there are any potential pathogens. Anything like Borrelia, Ehrlichia, um, uh, Bartonella, B Babesia, any of these co-infections that we know exist now in the ticks. Um, so you can send it to University of Massachusetts. You can send it to University of Arizona, Northern Arizona, where there's the Bay Area Lyme Foundation. They do tick specimen um, testing as well. Uh, but make sure you keep the, the tick in the bag so that if there is a potential for infection, you'll know it. You can either get on your choice of whatever it is you want to do as a preventative, um, a preventative uh, uh, treatment to keeping your immune system healthy. So once you remove the tick, you can use some type of a poultice. You can use something like uh, bentonite clay, you can use kaolin clay, you can use charcoal. In my office I use this French clay that has certain herbs in it to help with the immune system and if you're interested in that you can certainly get the pro there's a protocol that's going to be online for five dollars that has all the information we're talking about um, or you can just call the office. Um, but you're going to make a poultice where you add a little bit of filtered water to one of those clays you can add some essential oil if you'd like. You can add oregano, rosemary, or thyme. Those are great antibacterials. In this office, I only use a certain type of oil because I know it's pure and safe to put on the skin. Um, so you'll make the poultice. You'll make enough to cover the tick and enough to cover the area. Then cover it up with gauze. Leave it there for about three or four hours. You're going to remove it after it dries. Wash the area really well, and then you'll repeat it all over again. And you're going to do this for one to two days where you keep making the poultice. You're going to put it on the infected area, keep it covered, let the absorptive clay or um, uh, you know, charcoal or whatever you choose to use pull the toxins out. It's a great way to get any potential um, uh, injected bacteria out quickly. So do that for two days. After that, you're going to start on a essential oil regimen where you can do, now if you're comfortable with ingesting essential oils, what I recommend is that you do oregano, rosemary, and thyme. You can use those in a small capsule, fill the capsule with uh, coconut oil or olive oil, and then you do one to two drops of each, put it in a capsule, a veggie cap, and then you take it two to three times a day. And you follow with that for the next two weeks. Uh, in the interim, you should be able to get your, te your uh, tick testing back from whichever university you decide to go to. Uh, and keep in mind that every state university has a medical entomology lab, and they're more than happy to run these diagnostic tests on these ticks. So I highly recommend it. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to Lyme disease because I had it myself about six years ago. I have put myself through a very uh, uh, rigorous protocol that I believe has fully helped me recover from Lyme disease. If you're interested in any of that, please contact our office at drsalemi.com. And again, if you want to get the PDF with all this information and a lot more in detail, uh, go to the website. It's $5. Download it and just get it right there. Hope this information was useful for you, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye for now.